Hey guys, and welcome to my latest part. Um, first things first, I'd like to let you know that it's been quite a while since my most recent upload. Um, this challenge, actually, I started it in December, and the, mo the, the most previous part that was uploaded in January, and um, here today, for me, it is the 20-something of February. Um, I don't know what, I'm not really up to date. Um, the 23rd, I think. Um, by the time it gets uploaded, it will probably be May time. But this part in, in particular probably won't be uploaded until, like, May time. Because I've got loads of, of other uploads I need to be dealing with, so... I'm going to fall quite a bit behind, but I'm just recording as much as possible. So yeah, I I haven't actually done any recording like over a month or something. So forgive me if I'm not quite sure what it is I'm meant to be doing. But I know what I'm doing right now. I'm going to be facing main them on and I may need to speed up. Um, then I'll probably go against Digitarmamon, and then Garulamon, and then I'm actually going to have nothing to do for a few days, because Vegemon, I have to wait until the 15th day to get the rain plant. Moldremon, I have to wait until the 15th day to get a super carrot from Vegemon. And... My Ultismon, I have to wait until um, Muncimon just craps until the point where he digivolves to Supermon, so I can then feed a gold banana to make him digivolve to Etamon in order to get him into Greylord's mansion. I'm going to be speeding this bit up now. Mamamon is here. Um, right, what techniques do I have? Duster, dive, Megamon. Oh, that's all good then. And stats, they're pretty good as well. Okay, he is quite strong and he's quite fast. Though his HP's not that great. He has a very strong finish though. Oh, enjoy the fight.
So there you can see it wasn't too bad. I mean, his HP is only 4,800. That's nothing tremendous. It's just he's powerful. He's strong and fast, and his finish is powerful. So he joins the city, and I think he works in the secret shop with Devimon, Moljamon, and Numamon. Though obviously Moljamon's not there yet. Um, I wanted to say I made a mistake with Dramoljamon. I said that you need a certain number of prosperity points in order for him to join the city. Well, I was wrong. Um, the one who digs through to where you get Leomon's tablet, you do need 45 prosperity points for him or something like that. The one who I'm waiting for, the one who joins the city, you don't actually need a certain number of prosperity points. All you have to do is speak to him and then apparently if you then go back to him three days later, he'll be done. Um, I can't actually remember when I first spoke to him, but whenever it was, plus three days, he'll be done. I think if I just leave him till the 15th day, as long, uh, along with the other Digimon, it'll be done. Because today is day 12. Uh, all this adventurous stuff I've done in 12 days. Will this Palmon get out my way? Obviously I'd thrash her, but she's a waste of MP. Now, I wanted to explain why I've gone like a month without recording and now I'm suddenly recording again. Um, I was actually a university student. I was um, studying a creative writing degree. Uh, creative writing is obviously, you know, a course for people who are interested in writing novels and getting novels published. And that was, you know, a career that I was chasing. I've had a strong passion for creative writing. I've written some stuff myself, but nothing of a publishable standard. And that's why I was doing the degree. I thought that it would help me improve my writing ability to the point where, you know, I can write something of a publishable standard. Um, a creative writing degree on paper is not worth much at all. It doesn't really help you employment-wise, and it doesn't strengthen your chances of agents accepting you. All they care about is your writing ability, so the only reason why I was there was to improve my writing ability. The problem was I was not finding the degree useful. My writing ability wasn't improving. I, I wasn't learning, learn, learning anything. And I was just wasting my time being there. So after being there for five months, I've actually dropped out. And I'm now, well, I'm not a student. And I'm just searching for a job, really. I'm basically going to be going on the dole and searching for a job. And I'm back home, which means I'm with my lovely games console. And I'm able to start doing some lovely recording for you lovely, beautiful people. Oh, disobeying, are we? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to give Garulamon a try. Obviously, I'm going to recover stats and save first. Because whatever happens is pretty much out my hand. Right, I made a list of all the items needed to recruit all the Moljamons. Um, I've not got it on me right now, but um, I'll go over it when I'm ready. When I'm about to, you know, face them. But when I'm about to, you know, get them to join the city, I'll go over everything that you need. So this video, this part, hopefully, it will be me beating Maimamon, done. Me beating Garulamon, gonna try. And will I have time to do Digitamamon as well? Well, uh, it'd be nice if I can do D Digitamamon as well, though it's gonna take a while just to get there. Um, yeah, Friesland. Um, yeah. 
I've just thought of saying that would be a real pain in the ass. Um, Machine Dramon, although I've beaten him, he's ready to be beaten again. Because you beat Machine Dramon, and then um, you beat him again, and he gives you a, and you get and you receive a chain melon, and then every month you just beat him once, and he spawns either at Grey Lord's Mansion, Ice Sanctuary, or Olga Fortress. I just thought he better not spawn at Grey Lord's Mansion, because that's really going to screw me over, because that means I'd have to beat Machine Dramon before I can see to my Ultismon, and that's really going to be a pain in the ass. and Grulamon's not here yet. If he's not a Grey Lord's Mansion, I can just go straight to Grey Lord's Mansion and deal with my Ultismon, but if it's back dimension, then I'm going to have to go through all that and beat Machine Dramon before I can then go to Grey Lord's Mansion <laughs> and get my Ultismon to join. Well, I have to beat Skull Greymon and Tekomon, and yeah, my Ultismon and Skull Greymon both join. Ah, here he is. Well, good luck, my uh, Muncymon. Please don't let me down. Um, though I will get rid of that. Probably won't do me any favours. Now his HP should be half. Well, that was a lot easier than I thought. It's not so much that the battle's difficult. It's more that I used to struggle at it when I was a kid. Because when I was a kid, all I did was raise HP. So I would just run out of MP, or I'd do hardly any damage, etc, etc. So I remember the battle being a pain when I was a kid, and because of that, I still think it's a pain now, when in fact, it's not. Well, if you've got the right stats, it's not. The right stats and the right techniques. How am I doing for time? I've been at it for about 18 minutes, but... About five of those minutes were spent um, waiting for Maimamon to appear. That's going to be speeded up, so probably about 15 minutes in. Probably got about another 10 minutes. Because I don't want to go on for too long, because the uploads will take absolutely ages. Literally, if I if it's like half an hour long, the upload can literally take like four hours. That's how bad it sometimes is. It does seem to vary, but yeah, it can be that long. Because some parts uploads take longer than others, even if the actual length of the video is not as long. It's kind of strange. But, yeah, I don't really want to exceed half an hour, otherwise the upload's going to go on forever, and my voice is starting to go a little bit. Right, well, I've mentioned this before. Stand so that you've got two monochromons and two rockamons in view. Oh, I haven't equipped Warcry. I need to, I need to, I need to re-equip Warcry. That technique's quite useful.
Yeah, if you've got multiple rock mons, you've got an easy fight. Because if they do Winter Blast, or the other attack, that's name, name I keep forgetting, but if they do an attack that hits multiple targets, then they will hit the other rock mon, and the rock mon will seek revenge. And if you just do distance or defensive, you can just do nothing at all while they just kill each other. As demonstrated, because they hit each other a lot. And when I was expecting a hit back, I just either did distance or defensive. Now I want to get as close to Digitama Mon as possible before sleeping. Because that way my stats will be mostly full. There probably are a couple, and well, not necessarily unavoidable battles, but hard to avoid battles. Oh, that Monochromon's getting close to me. Go away, Monochromon. I sometimes struggle here. Not that time though. Here it's just a case of running straight and not running into them. Uh, these two rock ones are hard to dodge though. Let's see the gorge. The shit gorge. Got a little way to go. Um, yeah. I just need as many care mistakes as possible really. in order to get Sukumon, so I can then get Etamon and then enter Greylord's Mansion. Arr, why can't I dodge him? And I've still not equipped Warcry. I need to remember to do that. Muscle charge. Now that's possibly better than Warcry. Warcry raises all your stats. Muscle charge just raises your defense. I mean your attack. I'm gonna go with that. Here you can mistake. I recall this bit sometimes being a pain.
Maybe I'm wrong too. That seemed pretty basic. Right, let's rest and let's end the part. So thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed. Next part will see me face Digitamamon. Yes, yeah, see you there.